You know, it really sounds good to me, Mario, for the first time in my life, the idea of having a nice little five and ten and a nice little home and a nice little town. How long do you think it'll take to get the store ready? But it's ready now. That's wonderful, you know. I'll take a trip with there, look the place over. Maybe I'll leave tomorrow, huh? Good. Of course, uh, I have to ask you to lend me a couple of dollars, Mario, for, well, transportation and incidentals. What do you mean, a couple of dollars? Well, you know, a couple of thousand to kind of tide me over till I get myself situated. I mean, well, I gotta have a little petty cash, don't I? Why? So you can run and give the diamond he won't throw you out of this hotel? What are you talking? Not this time, Mr. Big Shot. The day you walk into that five and ten with your wife, I'll give you a nice check. Not before. Mario, I need the money now. They're going to throw me out of here tomorrow. No, no, no. I knew it. I know him like a book. Why always believe him? Listen, Mario, let's talk. Light a I need candle, you. the boy says. Light a candle. You came down to help me, didn't you? For me, he's got no feelings. All right, but for his own son. Listen, light a candle. You're Mario, you're my brother. Why don't you I help me? I believed you. I believed you. What am I going to do at the hotel if I lose it? How am I going to help the kid? How are you going to help him? You're going to help him like I helped my children. Like two billion others have helped their children. They work. 